What's going on, guys? We are continuing the franchise journey of Assassin's Creed. Now we're going to be talking about Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Now, I know there is a lot of people in the fandom that either love this game, hate this game. Um, there was possibly issues with this game. But <clears throat> in all honesty, there is actually, I think, more issues in the Assassin's Creed franchise now than there was then. But this entire story was actually not that bad because the entirety of this game is centered around two characters within, again, another time frame of our beloved history and seeing between Evie and Jacob Fry, who are twins within the Assassin's Creed order, and they're wanting to take back uh, London from Templar rule during the, um, the, oh man, what was it? I, 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 I'm drawing a blank here, guys. Um, during the industrial revolution, I, I don't know why it took me a minute to say that, but you have where they're wanting to prove something. They go to London, they start learning information, they get their contacts and they start learning that the, Templars have a lot of control in London. So Jacob is like, hey, let me make my own gang called the Rooks and they'll work for us and start gaining new territory. And then when we start gaining new territory, we will be able to take over certain areas, fight over it, be able to do this and that. I had a lot of fun with this game. And the reason why I had fun with this game is because, again, it didn't really feel like a Assassin's Creed game, even though it wasn't a Assassin's Creed game, because you had Jacob, who was more of the the brawler and, you know, just out there wanting to fight. And you had Evie, who was very stealthy, very smart, very strategic. I like playing both characters. I, I had no problem playing both characters. There was times you had to play as Evie. There was times you had to play as Jacob Fry. Now, again, that was perfectly fine. I, I was down with that. And being able to have your secret little base on a train that keeps moving, I really enjoyed that. The customization with the canes, with the knives, with the weapons, and even being able to use what everyone says was like, you know, Batman's equipment in this, which, which was kind of silly, I will admit that. But it was still cool to a certain degree and meeting other public figures like you normally would in the Assassin's Creed franchise and I had a lot of fun with this game. The only thing I had problems with was some of the characters. Um, the one that developed a relationship with Evie, I felt like he was very worthless throughout the entirety of this game. And especially some of the Templars in this, I felt like some of the Templars was very lackluster. Like they weren't like as smart as what they claimed to be, even with the others, we had that problem, but they weren't as annoying or not really malicious, more just like annoying and very ignorant and thinking, okay, well we can do this and we can do that when even the assassins have that problem as well. But again, I think for the story, that was my main issues. Now the gameplay, it took me a minute to get along with the gameplay because you had to upgrade your character and being able to take down different, you know, strongholds or take down, you know, certain bosses or with certain weapons. You know, you start getting used to that, and that's pretty much what Assassin's Creed started doing, almost like an RPG type feel. And I think that's where it really started to feel. But if it would have kept it like this, I think it would have been ten times better than what we even have now, in my personal opinion, because you could still fight, you were still able to do stealthy missions, you were still able to be just all out, you know, barbaric and taking down your enemies. But nowadays, it's like you can't really do that very much without dying, no matter how high of a character level you are. Again, that's just my personal opinion. But does it still hold to this day? Again, that's to your own personal opinion. I would have no problem playing this game over some other games that I've already talked about. Uh, again, this game came out in... Wait, 2015 so it came out on ps4 xbox one you guys can play it obviously now on four and five for playstation you can play on xbox one xbox series x and obviously on pc as well or you know whatever you have for steam now again i don't think this is a bad game there was a lot of critiquing during this game like oh there was bugs there was this there was that I didn't really have a whole lot of bugs because I, I originally played this on Xbox One, then I played it on PS4. Uh, me personally, I preferred it on the PlayStation. It was just a little bit better, in my opinion, better um, for gameplay because I got more. I was more used to um, Xbox and PlayStation. But again, I'm always going to choose PlayStation over Xbox. But I still think Assassin's Creed Syndicate is underrated. I, I think that it got a lot of heat that it did not deserve. And again, was it the best story? No. Was it the best characters? No. But it was still fun, and it still felt like Assassin's Creed through certain ways within the franchise. But it's neither here nor there. Let me know you guys' thoughts about this down in the comments. Hope you guys did enjoy.
If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And as always, I'll be seeing you on the next one.